so I'm at the hospital, and uh, it's always interesting to observe hospitals in a in a reckless place like Texas or in a Dallas County area because there's a lot of things going on where as far as psychological profiles go folks who go to the medical industry are always going to be big have a big chance of being a piece of shit and it's been some subtle sides of it of it it's kind of like in california with the toxic lady where it was wasn't anything toxic going on it's, it's basically just something almost unbelievable it's a piece of shit who's get so frustrated like a kid not wanting to take a quiz they started making up excuses <laughs> like 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 there was a toxic smell that was making them faint you know it's, it was like it was like some hispanic soulless hispanic like i say folks who don't have a soul from south of the border them and sub-saharans if they don't have a soul they're going to be the worst things on the planet so it was a male nurse who started seeing some manila crystals in, in, in her blood <laughs> and then just started making up excuses to get out of it. Since since most folks who go to the medical industry are going to be the dumbest, most desperate things ever, but they can sit through those easy classes with motivations thinking that folks are going to look up to them. <laughs> and with the Department of Education just having easy stuff that anyone can pass with a human brain, with just motivation, they're able to get these jobs. Usually a lot of nurses, because they need warm bodies, they're going to be just one step away from being a whore and they get fired three months from now from stealing drugs or something. So it's always going to be pieces of shit who gravitate to the medical field because they think it's their chance to finally get fulfillment and, and be a big shot. <laughs> so they're going to have the worst personalities. They're going to be like retarded kids who can't control themselves and can't separate professional duties from <laughs> from their personal feelings. Just mindless pieces of shit. And the worst is that 9-11 shit where a lot of them as kids they saw 9-11 and it's some mental disorder where soulless assholes just get pleasure from all the pain and stuff so they tried to recreate 9-11 and call themselves first responders and shit <laughs> and make 9-11 go on forever with COVID which is not is, is not as strong as Ebola or, or AIDS as a virus and it's, it's weaker than Ebola and AIDS, and it's a little stronger than the flu. But but those idiots try to make it go on forever. <laughs> and try to make themselves heroes because of just the field attracting the worst type of human beings who could just sit through those easy classes and pass it. And then after they get the jobs, the job was pursued for a secondary reason. So they're going to be bitter, retarded pieces of shit 